Yeah, I think the uh, in the article that I was just browsing through on the screen for our for our YouTube watchers is one of the features that's in preview right now that's coming as well is information protection on top of it so for insider insider information protection. So insider risk, that's going to be another huge one. A lot of the customers that we work with, I feel like don't necessarily take that extra step like they protect their documents, but insider risk is something that I think that gets a little bit too deep. The larger organizations, I think, probably take advantage of this more often, but I think that as we start to see generative AI work its way into this, and that becomes easier to approach for different compliance departments, is we may see more expansion onto that. So I'm really excited to see what Microsoft does with that, with those kind of extended compliance controls over the days and months and years to come. And I think that that's without prying into people's activities and things like that, that's not the intent. I mean, it, it certainly has the capabilities to do it, but I think one of the biggest things with insider risk management is just understand the behaviors of individuals and establishing a baseline, being able to, to take into consideration what user's behavior is and, and be able to sort of add that into the equation when, that's, when we're leveraging Copilot or or copilot security copilot to be able to say how should we frame our policies that align with giving our end users the best opportunity to do the work that they need to do when they need to do it and where they need to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that that's kind of the takeaway for us is it's very exciting to be able to establish some policies around that, but still be mindful of users' behaviors and and how they like to work.